Liz's desires harrowing near miss in the 2010 Dubai World Cup probably makes for painful viewing for Mike DeCock, for whom a win in the world's richest race is still missing from his CV. This year, however, Mike has the horse to change that. Re-enter Mubtahich, the Dubawi colt who went from being beaten 14 lengths in his first two starts to winning the UAE Derby and finishing fourth in a Belmont Stakes. Barring defeat in the UAE 2000 Guineas, Mubtahij is pretty much foot perfect here at Maidan. His maiden win preceding victories in the Guineas Trial and Al Bastakia before a stunning UAE Derby success. Christoph Simeon put his foot flat to the medal and the derby's all over. Mubta Hitch is absolutely tearing away. It's a matter of how far. Mubta Hitch, eased in the run of the judge, has won the derby. So, after destruction of a good field on World Cup night, where next? America, that's where. And Mubta Hitch took on the best that the States had to offer in the Kentucky Derby, becoming DeCock's first runner in the race. Unfortunately for them, it turned out to be rather a good year, but Mubtahij still managed a creditable eighth. After making the sensible decision to sidestep the Preakness, the DeCock team travelled their stable star to New York, where the Colt got much closer to American Pharaoh, finishing an excellent fourth in the Belmont. Mubtahij is off the rail, and now he's a length behind in second, and American Pharaoh kicks away. His American travails over, a gallant but no doubt weary Mubtahij returned to the UK for some R&R &R at de Kock's new market base, before rejoining the Dubai String in November. Since then, he's impressed in the mornings, and Mike issued an upbeat bulletin. Very happy with him. He's actually a bigger, stronger horse today. Um, uh, we were looking at him this afternoon. He looks like he's got a bit more condition than we would have liked. It's a long carnival, and we'd like him ready on the end of March, and I think everything he does in between. It's, only, it's all relevant for the big night because he is a serious World Cup horse. A serious World Cup horse. That, in the eyes of a man who has gone so close in the race before, is good enough for us. He'll have tough competition, but Mubta Hidge might just be the one.